So as a result, you're putting up with it. And even though the relationship has become toxic, because obviously you don't, you're avoiding to hang out with this person. And then when you're hanging out with them, you have resentments. So obviously it's, it's either you need to sit with them and have a, depending on their level of understanding, because some people don't get it, but if, if it's valuable to you, maybe you want to sit down, you know, invite the person over for coffee and cake and be very loving with them, hold their hands, look into their eyes, tell them how much you care for them, you love for them, and tell them their shortcomings, the things they do to that is bugging you. And see if they get it and they're willing to make correction or you just let it go. Yeah. You simply don't associate with them anymore. You just... Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. And how do, I, how do I choose to do the one or the, 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 the other thing? I mean, well, I, can, I can choose to, to sit down and look into the, her eyes and say this and that, or I can just let it go. How do I know what's correct? Well, you just have to see what feels right for you. I don't know how, how long you've been friends with this person, if they're relative to you or not, how, what kind of ties you have with them, and how valuable you find this friendship to yourself. I don't know that. You, you're the only one who knows that. So yeah. do you feel like it's worth keeping it or not? Yeah, that's that's a problem actually a little yeah. because it's very long. It's thirty years old, so you 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 see. I feel we have a story together. Yeah, we know each other very well. Yeah, but but for the last one and a half year, I feel that we are not matching any longer. So, yes, but yeah, yeah. So. I, I ha, you know, I have a couple of them. I have one that we're known each other for years and years and years. And the fellow friend is angry. He attacks me. He takes my energy. Every time we hang out together, I get really exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. And naturally, I don't call him i don't plan on getting together i don't invite him to my birthday party i don't you know naturally i don't want to go where it sucks my energy yeah. so yeah it's the same for me actually. yeah and i try to talk to him and he's not getting it when i talk to him he gets very react he shows reaction and he gets aggressive it's painful but You sometimes have to move on. That's how it is. It doesn't matter. I mean, sometimes you got to let your mom go, your dad go, your brother go. And these are the people who are very close to you. But it's become so toxic that you have to walk away. Look at it at this way, that existence, life, God, the spirit is creating an opportunity for you to exercise your power. And your power right now is no. To say no. Enough. No. I'm, I'm not allowing you to put me down. I'm not allowing you to suck my energy. But, but, but I, have, I have this feeling that I should be strong enough to, to carry this uh, bad energy or to not get... Well, that's, yeah, if you're enjoying taking shit, then keep taking it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? And if you feel like you need to suffer and, and uh, that's the path and you should just take it, that's an ego trip too. That's a conditioning yeah. from the past oh. that you should take it, you know? Yeah. I see. Yeah, now I got the right word. It's right. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. also it's more frightening. A lot of times it's easy to eat shit, 
and not confront the person because it's more it's like you go back to this little kid who are facing the authority and your dad is there and and is doing like this and you can't confront them because you get stuck and you get frozen so now in this relationship it seems like he's gone into the bully or whatever somehow unconsciously and you get frozen in front of this person to really tell your truth so if you want to break through that and give it a try you can do that you can sit with a person and tell your truth to them yeah. and when you do that with someone you tell the truth two things happen normally there is a initial reaction that they either they may hear you and they get upset or they get sad and then you don't hear from them for a week or two or a month and then when they come back, your relationship bonds and gets even stronger and it really goes into another level. Or they just completely react to you and they say, you know, screw you and they just disappear. In either way, you're going to get what you want. So you're either going to free yourself from this person by them leaving or you free yourself by them helping them to come to a higher level of understanding by adjusting yeah. to that. So you're going to be the winner in either case. Yeah, you don't need to stay in this victim position. Cool. So we're coming to the end of the academy. I like to thank you all for uh, being here, whether uh, through our system Zoom or Facebook or Instagram. Um, feel free. If you have any comments, you can always write to me. My email is info at zaratustra.tv, and my website is zaratustra.tv. Uh, we also. Uh, Simultaneously, this broadcast is being recorded on Facebook, on Instagram. Uh, we're going to clean this up um, and email it to you and also put it on, on my YouTube channel. Uh, also, uh, the audio part of it, minus meditation, is going to go on my podcast. Uh, all my channels are Zaratustra 5D. So if you want to visit my podcast or my uh, YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're constantly uploading um, new stuff on it. Uh, also, if you have any comments, questions, feel free to email me. Um, our next academy is going to be next Wednesday. Uh, the schedule of upcoming... Um, Academy, they're all on my website. You can go to the website, to the calendar part of it and see what's coming up. I don't have any other events except the Academy for now. I may come up with some events in January. Um, definitely things will be coming, but at this moment it's only the Academy. Uh, the only other uh, service that I provide is my life training program which is an exclusive VIP tailor-made one-on-one program. Uh, it's designed uh, tailor-made to your needs. For that, if you're interested, you're welcome to send me an email and we set up a consultation appointment with you. You and I will sit down and talk over Zoom and we'll find out whether you qualify for it and if I can help you or not. I can't take any students now. The earliest it would be uh, in three weeks or after the first of the year. So um, feel free and reach out and we'll be happy to hear from you. Sending you lots of love and light and I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste.